Hi guys, this is Adam. Um, in this tutorial I will show you uh, three types of boundaries that you can create in your level. Um, so I will show you the three types that I be working uh, with in the past. The, the first one is simply invisible, uh, invisible wall, uh, which some of you might remember from uh, from games uh, back in um, 2000 something, uh, especially for PS1, um, um, because of the hardware limitation. Uh, simply, um, developers decided to you know create a lot of uh, invisible walls, which was a bit of frustrating. But from programming perspective, you uh, it, it, it's much it, it's understandable. Uh, and sometimes there's a even a, in a new games there's a, a scenarios that you might want to have the uh, invisible layer. Um, the second is a simple static mesh. So uh, we will create a fence uh, which contains already a, a collision. Um, and the third one is probably the most common in um, in in the newest game. Uh, especially in the games that have a huge levels and you want to create a boundary by uh, just creating maybe a mountains that will um, you know create some kind of boundary for a for a user um, okay that's cool so let's just um, create a, a invisible layer um, so if you go to our top view um, first of all, uh, let's find out what's the distance, uh, what, what's the length of the terrain. Uh, so to do it, just middle click um, and go to the top of the terrain, and it's around 4,000, uh, yeah, 4,200. Um, so let's just uh, right click on our cube and for X. Uh, we have a 4200 for Y 32 and for Z which is the uh, actual height uh, 256 is much is more than enough uh, so build the build the brush um, now we want to move it to the edge of our level um, so it's gonna be probably somewhere here um, and you know you don't have to be precise just make sure it's not uh, <clears throat> it's not somewhere here because obviously user will fall down uh, so it has to be on the top of the level of the terrain um, so I think that's the <clears throat> excuse me uh, I think that's the um, you know proper um, proper brush uh, we probably want to raise it a bit as well um, maybe up to the red uh, line which is um, a dead zone in Unreal so every time the player will hit the uh, red line um, uh, will simply die, um, and you know, in uh, in our case, it's just an invisible um, n nothing, uh, simply saying. But uh, probably in next tutorials, I will show you, uh, you know, how to create maybe kind of some kind of um, a lava or acid. So obviously, if the player hit um, hit um, uh, will step on the lava, will obviously die unless he's a superhuman um, but anyway that's our first um, um, first step and second step is really simple so once we set up the uh, brush uh, just right click on our volume and add blocking volume and that's it so we will play From what I can see, is that we add the level, we add the uh, invisible layer over here. So as you can see, I'm trying to go there, and I can. Uh, which is kind of kill cool. invisible uh, wall works fine. Um, <clears throat> our second um, uh, boundary um, will be simple uh, static mesh. Um, we probably create a fence. It can be a gate. Uh, but let's focus on the fence at this point. Um, so open our content browser. Um, it's open. When it's open, it's probably going to be minimalized here. Um, and I've been doing some research, and as you can see, I found the fence which I'm going to use in this project. 
but um, just just to show you um, the best way to find it, you just look on over the all assets, uh, filter for the static meshes, and type um, type fence. Uh, so now, as you can see, uh, we have four fences types. Um, <coughs> let's choose the number three, which is the sm underscore fence start underscore zero three. And um, what I did before, I added the collision. So uh, normally, you would see uh, that this object, the static mesh, didn't have a collision. Uh, so no collision model, uh, which simply means that uh, your plier or any kind of object. Uh, can go through, uh, which obviously is not the thing we want to have. Um, to add collision, to add simple collision to our model, just double click it, and you will have um, mesh editor window. Um, choose, go to the collision, and just for this uh, tutorial, uh, choose the first option: six DOP simplified collision, and close it. Um, once you do it, um, you have to save the package. So right click and just click save. I won't be doing that because I did it with the static mesh. Uh, with with the static mesh. Uh, so once you add the collision, uh, choose the static mesh um, fence uh, number three. Um, minimize the <coughs> content browser, and uh, we prob we want to add. Um, um, fence over here, so right click, uh, add static mesh, and there we have a nice static mesh. Um, we can move it uh, so it will align with uh, our invisible uh, wall. Um, we can move it down a bit as well. Um, obviously, there's some issue with the terrain, but what you can do, you can either um, Create some kind of depression uh, on, on at this point, or maybe use the smooth uh, tool, uh, which I will show you later when we create a, a mountain a boundary. So what we can do now, we can just Control C and Control V. It will just copy the highlighted static mesh, um, and by holding Control, uh, we can highlight the uh, click left click on a uh, alt fence. And re repeat, so I'll say uh, Control C, Control V, and we now we can move uh, the fence along the um, y axis, um, which is quite cool now. Uh, as you can see over here, we probably want to do a bit of adjustment, uh, but it seems to be working fine. Uh, so if I play from this point. Now I have an um, invisible wall and I have a nice fence with a collision. Um, there might be a situation, for example, uh, if the terrain will be a bit higher or the fence will be a bit lower, um, there's a chance that uh, I will be able to jump through the gate or I'll jump through the fence. Um, <coughs> so the best way to avoid this kind of situation is is pretty much to add um, our uh, invisible wall. So that's that's a great uh, you know example where we can use the uh, invisible wall. Uh, all right. So our last um, boundary type will be simply a terrain editing tool. So we will create some kind of mountains over here. So then um, our player won't be able to. Um, going further, so the best way to do it, and probably the only way, um, go to terrain editing mode and make sure you have a height map selected. Um, click the paint, and maybe we want to uh, make it a bit bigger radius. Um, that should be enough for this small level, and. If you control, if you if you click, uh, sorry, if you hold control and left click, it will raise the level. Um, right click will create a depression. Um, so, create some kind of uh, small.
spawned over here. Okay, it's probably not the best small time ever, but you know, it gives you an idea. Um, we probably want to smooth it as well, so click Smooth Tool, uh, Hold Control, and smooth those parts. Okay. Um, so if you play it from here, as you can see, you can't go any further. It's good. Um, but obviously, it doesn't. It doesn't look really realistic. So what we can do, I will show you the next tutorial. Um, we going. We are going to create some kind of path. So we will create a path that leads from house to maybe a forest or somewhere. Or maybe to a different level and uh, we will also um, add a more texture to our uh, terrain edit uh, tool uh, so we will be able to uh, paint those textures on the top of our motines uh, so let's say we want to add maybe <laughs> some sort of um, snow or rocky uh, style um, and before I go, um, I would like to show you exactly uh, how to create a nice path. Um, so, the best way to, to create a path alongside the mountain is to use the average tool. Um, to maybe reduce the strength a bit, radius probably 140, should be okay. And if you hold control now, what is going to happen is that this average tool um, will uh, will calculate this distance, which is the the lowest distance of mountain, and the top of the oh, and the top distance, and will create an average, um, which in this case create a nice path. Um, so, from experience, this is probably the best tool to create a paths alongside the um, in this in this case mountain. So. Um, I will show you also how to, like I said before, how to maybe create some kind of uh, dust um, or rocks um, so the player will know where he's supposed to go. So if you play from here, um, we have a nice, a nice pump, which looks a bit, um, you know, artificial at the moment, but we can. Um, we can add some textures and um, we can create a bit of noises in the edge uh, with the terrain tool so it will mo make more uh, you know it won't be as smooth as it is now it will be more um, you know more bumpy and and look more realistic um, so thanks guys for watching and hopefully you like the video um, and learn something new from that um, see you on the next tutorial guys cheers